Hello, my dear ones. This is a gift from a lovely gentleman at our level one class. This is his fireman hat. You can still smell the smoke in this hat. And he fixed it up. He's a raw foodist now. He's uh, working on his health. He's turned around a lot of issues. And he gave me this as a loving gift. And I can't, I don't even have the words. Isn't that cool? So it's going to have a special place in here. Anybody that would give up their fireman hat out of love, then we're going to take it with great love and, and put it where it will shine on everyone. I want to thank you for some of the gifts that are so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful piece? In love with this, is such a beautiful piece. These are all beautiful handmade pieces. I thank you for all your cards and blessings. We had a lot of fun at this class, don't you think, Drew? Oh, it was oh, yeah. beautiful. I thought it was. Great, great outcome. Now, great great group. Uh, we had about 150, 160 people there. It was just super great. Everything was set up perfectly. Micah's crystal healing workshop was great. Oh, yeah, we got sure. this beautiful. Uh, show, can you show that as an green? example? Oh, yeah. Of what was oh, that? Yeah. Uh, this is my favorite uh, green crystal. Uh, this I love crystals, but the green healing crystal, very powerful crystal, uh, set at the uh, John of God uh, for quite a while. Uh, just beautiful crystal, just beautiful stuff. Uh, I wanted to say hello. It's been a little while. We've had this class come up. It was very busy. It was so many things going on. I, I did want to get to your questions, but I'm going to do a couple of special videos here. I'm going to do one on blood sugar this morning, but this one I just kind of want to talk again about thinness and things. Thank you, Drew. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to talk about um, thinness and things like this. Even though we did a video on this, uh, we had an occasion where an individual came in and was talking about her um, sister's uh, son who's uh, had uh, acne all over him, been on fruit. He's 18 years old, been on fruit. A lot of the acne is all gone now, but he's skinny and of course they're concerned he needs protein and things like this. That the man is, the medical doctor said, well, he can only live a month or two like this and it was like, you know, it's sad when you have people that don't know anything about health that developed a respect for no reason and has nothing to say about health that's worth anything because they don't know anything about health dictate things like that. Kind of like, oh, you only have a few months to live or you only have a few months of that one. They don't even understand the road of health at all. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that again because on all these videos, and no matter what symptom you're having, it is vital that all your mothers and fathers out there, where you're working on your children and things, understand the lymphatic system as we teach it. This is important for every single soul out there that wants to get their physical body better and then dig deeper into their emotional bodies, their, their mental bodies, and, and get gross spiritually and awake. It is vital that you understand the lymphatic system. There's two things that are vital. That you understand the lymphatic system as we teach it. Because you have to understand, medically, they're just discovering it. They're just discovering pieces of it. Yet, the other night, on, uh, one, of, on one of the Fox News or something, they had, a new, they had a new procedure. A gentleman went through the first penile imp uh, 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 surgery, the first implant of a penile. Of a, pe a penis, they had uh, no, well, they've never been done before at this level, and the surgeon involved said it's a complicated uh, procedure, and that we have a lot of considerations, including the lymphatic system, and this is the first time from a surgeon I've really uh, heard them acknowledge the fact that they have to deal with the lymphatic system surgically, is not just the vascular system, you know, it's all a system of of pipes, and it's important that 
that each and every individual out there understand their lymphatic system and and the nature of the two sides of chemistry. There's only two sides of chemistry. And whenever you have a, a symptom, all you have to ask yourself is which side of chemistry am I experiencing? And this is true if you have acne. This is true if you have blood sugar problems. This is true if you are diagnosed with their, their concepts of cancer and things like this. These are all true. Whenever you have a symptom, which side of chemistry is this symptom on? Because chemistry rules everything. You look at the air, you think, oh look, I, it's void. Nothing's void in creation. That was the concern with atom busting, creating a void. By busting the very atoms, the very creation of all things, that we would create a void and possible an implosion of the planet. These are very real scientific concerns because we don't see voids out there. There's dark holes or black holes, but the, the pure void is, is unknown and even possible because a void would pull in chemistry it would it's called diffusion it would pull things into it you know when you have a void uh, a fluid of chemistry and you have a, a fluid full of chemistry by diffusion all the particles are pulled into the less side so there's a constant movement uh, of fluids and, and products from a, a more dense to a less dense area. And there's some thought that this also might be how the lymph moves waste away also, not only just through the lymph vessels and the lymph nodes, but through some type of diffusion issue. It's just enough to say that understanding your lymphatic system leads you down the road to the body's gigantic sewer system. The fact that the lymphatic system is 80% of the fluid that flows around each and every cell in your body and that the blood is only 20%. When you have a fluid that flows around a cell that's 80% of that fluid, that's an important issue. Why would the blood that's deemed so very important have be only 20% of interstitial fluid? So it is vital to understand that there are systemic wastes that are produced each and every day by combustion, metabolism, respiration, oxidation, uh, all your cycles from the cribs to methylations. All these chemical processes always yields chemical residues. This is why in motors and companies we have pathways to eliminate wastes. We have exhaust systems, we have lymphatic systems, we have uh, uh, sewer systems set up for plants and stuff. So it's vital to understand that it's easy for everyone to understand where you have consumption, you have elimination. And this is true at the cellular level. So you have to understand the lymph system to understand why, what would cause acne. What would cause all this red burning of the human body? You see it in diaper rash all the way to acne, to psoriasis, to dermatitis, to rosacea, to everything, little rashes to big ones, doesn't matter. What could be causing all this problem? And so first you understand that they're on the acid side of the fence. That's the burning, that's the redness, that's the inflammatory response. Inflammation is simply a response of the human body to these proteins or what is called acids. A lot of people think that when you're emaciated that you need to start eating protein. The importance is understanding the acid side of chemistry is where man has been on. And we've had many discussions about this, that the body is a base or an alkaline dominant body. And when you start consuming acid forming foods, which is foods totally outside of the, the vertebrae of the, the homo sapien, we, as a, as a species, cannot consume beans and grains and animal meats and milks. We do not have the body for it. We do not have the consciousness for it. And this only serves to acidify, to fill the body full of mucus, pain and suffering. And you can't eat, continue to eat these foods and think that this is some type of health. When someone thinks that going back and eating proteins is healthier than eating fruits and berries and salads, then they're deficient in their understanding. They were lied to. They're not very aware because they have lost their ability to look up and say, you know what? The, obviously, it's the foods that's killing us because that's what man has been eating. If you ignore what you're eating, what you're breathing, what you put on your skin, uh, and what you're drinking, 
you're ignoring basic facts. And if you ignore that and then you have problems, health problems, don't be mad. Don't be mad because you're the one creating this. So this video is really for those parents and for those that are dealing with this excessive thinness. You can't get scared over that because you must understand the same system that's causing the acne, that's causing uh, uh, tumors, that's causing the suppression of the thyroid or the adrenals causes blood sugar and the like. It's the same system that has, has caused cancers and everything else. That's the same system that causes malabsorption. Malabsorption is when the lymphatic system in the small bowel wall and including the colon as well becomes stagnant. When your lymphatic system comes stagnant, where do we look to? And you YouTubers are so smart. I love you guys so much. You know immediately you're going to walk to the kidneys. When you're 18 years old, when you're 20 years old, when you're 30 years old, you can take a kidney weakness and adrenal gland weakness to the bank. And especially the younger you are, the more serious this can be. You know, I wanted to just tell the mother of this young man that you created this problem in your child. Unknowingly and unconscious, but you created this. You created this by your lymphatic system and carrying a baby in, interfacing with your lymphatic system. And then what did you feed your baby after it's born? And what did you eat if you breastfed? So what people don't understand is we are consuming chemistry that is foreign or what they call out of harmony with the homo sapien. And the evidence is obvious. Studies after studies on protein diets like man is eating has yielded nothing but cancer, GI tract cancer, and the World Health Organization has brought this out. So when you have health organizations that are really not 100% honest and stuff that are still bringing this out. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty strong. So it's enough to say that the folk, the people out there have to wake up and get with this. That when you have lymphatic problems, it comes with an array of many symptoms from malabsorption. Your adrenals can be down. Your skin can be down. Your thyroid can be down. You can have multiple systems down because the sewer system flows around every cell of the human body. And when that becomes stagnant, acid, sewage, imagine your sewage from your toilet not flushing when you flush it and people keep throwing poop into the toilet. You can imagine what that would be like, both in odor and in toxemia, acidosis. You know, I think it's funny. Over at um, these big lakes that we have in Florida here, uh, we're having a lot of blue green algae. And of course, uh, chemists and those people in environmental issues consider blue green algae as toxic. And I'm thinking, well, you could get that at the health food store. <laughs> you know, these are sort of the things that man just. Man keeps consuming things because he, he doesn't want to face the fact that what you eat, what you drink, what you breathe, and what you put on your skin is how you either build your body's health or how you break it down. And all that can be broken down to either is that chemistry having a predominant base reaction in the body after it's metabolized and all that, or digested down, however you wish to look at the ash and all that, or does it have an acid effect? Those foods that have an acid effect are everything outside of fruits, berries, melons, and salads. Almost every one of them. Even your uh, quinoa and millet, you know, they're, they're base grains, but they also are complex sugars. And complex sugars not properly metabolized will create more acidosis. So when you're excessively thin and you put someone on this program or you have skin problems and you're not fat in the first place, you're going to get a little skinny. No one dies when they're consuming fruits, berries, and melons. No one dies from that. Uh, people die when they consume proteins on these programs. You know, when you put a young man like that who's cleaned up their acne pretty good and been on the fruits and you say they need proteins and you put them back on these protein diets, not only will this come back unless they really cleaned it up, but then you break down their kidneys even more. Now you face the possibility of tumor formation. The ignorant abounds out there when it comes to health. And this is a true in nursing and it's true in all levels. 
pharmaceutical reps, all these things like this. A lot of ignorance when it comes to health and wellness. And the allopathic community is, sits on the top of ignorance. You cannot look to an allopathic physician for advice in health and wellness or you're putting your life in your own hands. And you got to wake up from this sort of thing because that's not their expertise. Their expertise is the field they created. They created the illusion called diseases. And they created the symptoms, the, the treatment of that. Well, they didn't create the symptoms. They just put their name on what people are suffering from, from their acidic diets. And it's funny that no matter what condition you have out there, I don't care what it is, if you put someone on fruits, berries, and melons and a good herbal uh, uh, detox regenerative program, they can fix it all. They can fix it all. You, can, you have some of our cases like Hildy and some of the others where extreme thinness, extreme emaciation, where now they're having mutations and now their life is back. The acids are mostly out. The body's rebuilding. The muscles are coming back. That's what you have to understand for those parents that are working on their young ones or even their, their teenagers. You could get thin. And for you guys doing this, I understand that you have to kind of uh, not hide this, but you know it's tough with parents that are ignorant that don't want to learn. It's tough out there. So I'm doing this video for the parents of these people so you can look at these videos and understand your kids are getting smarter than almost anyone else in this world on health and health issues. We highly recommend you view these videos and understand what malabsorption is and how serious that is. We take malabsorption and thinness extremely serious, but there's only one way to fix it. And you can't eat to fix it, except for fruits, berries, and melons. You can't eat to fix this problem. You can only eat fruits and berries and melons to fix this and get herbs in to get the kidneys to filter, the adrenals up to get that to happen and to start hydrating the human body because you must understand what happens under the acid sky. When the body becomes acidic, it becomes cationic and that is agglomulation, dehydration, uh, where everything begins to stick and become hardened. You start to see things get red, inflamed, tissue breaking, ulcerations breaking down. These are acids. And acids take no prisoners and they will take you down to death. Fruits, berries, and melons, however, are on the base dominant side, hydrating and bringing this into a state of wellness. So we can get this filtering, this, this stagnation of this gigantic sewer system miles long. And this includes interstitially in the gut wall where it controls malabsorption or not, we have to clean all this up. Because if you do not, you will be deficient. You won't even absorb your fatty acids. You have multiple problems. By supplementing these things will not uh, rebuild you and will not uh, get you into a state of wellness. You might come a little symptom free at times, but uh, you must deal with the cause of these problems and fix the cause of these problems. And you young ones have done so well. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You are the future. But you have parents a lot of times that remain ignorant and I don't know what to say about it. When you have parents that won't grow and you're growing as a child is similar to uh, finding a mate who is totally different than you. As a rule, if you find a mate, opposites attract. But as a rule, if you find a mate that's real opposite you, the relationship doesn't last that long. It's nice to have some common ground for relationships to build and to work on. So this thing of health is much greater and much bigger than anyone realizes out there. Only you guys, those YouTubers that have been faithful and working on themselves, you guys are in the know. And it's amazing when I look at the class, so many new faces in this level one, it was amazing. And a lot of you are in the know. And that, that, that does my heart good because we're changing the world and you can see it everywhere. We're getting testimonials and we're getting cases. You guys are working on cases deep within jungles and things like this. Amazing what's out there and amazing what you're doing. I'm proud of you, John. I love what you're doing with the lady and her, her knee or her leg. They want to remove it. Now they don't have to. Good job. Keep going. I sent that out to you, how to finish that one up. There's all kinds of neat things out there, guys, that people, you guys are doing to help this world. And it's like, woo, really good. So, it does the heart well to see that.
because this planet has immense suffering to it. And people, parents, your children are trying to get out of suffering. And since you're not helping them, uh, they have to help themselves. And so we should get aligned with our children. These are powerful souls. Remember, parents, you only supply the bodies to these powerful beings that inhabit them. Start respecting these powerful beings that are inhabiting your the bodies you created for them. Take a look more spiritual at life and how big life really is. You know, this is just a little drama here. Life is huge. Remember Jesus said in my father's mansion there are many rooms. And of course in Hinduism, Buddhism, we know there's multiple dimensions and levels out there. Uh, very few know the degree of that. <laughs> Amazing stuff. But I just wanted to do this video on excessive thinness and those that fight this seriousness because this is serious. But you can go up rectally, you can go a lot of ways, but to be honest with you, malabsorption is malabsorption and it's in the wall of the small and large intestines. And in the wall is the cells that make up the wall. You know, when you have a tube, you have to look at what makes up the tube. Well, what makes up the intestinal tubes, just like everything else in the body, are cells. And cells eat and poop, as friendly as that is. Cells eat and eliminate, just like every single thing else on this planet. Plants eat and eliminate. Animals eat and eliminate. Stones eat and eliminate. There is a process cons constantly of consumption and elimination. One has to take that consideration in understanding the human body. Just because a medical modality has not come to that understanding yet doesn't mean no one else can. Matter of fact, if they don't get more in line with that, which they're coming, but if they don't, then you know they're going to fall way behind the world because you can't continue down the same idiocy of treating with toxic chemicals and killing people. You can't walk with your chest out being the number one killer of humans on the planet. That's a huge oxymoron. So you've got to get with truth and reality and what that means in health and wellness. And chemistry rules this level, magnetics and physics. So just understanding a little bit through these videos should help to uh, understand that why we put you on fruits, berries, and melons. You know, the worst mistake a person can make is thinking that fruits are deficient in chemistry. That's a huge error, and especially the berries, because that's where all the man, that's where nature's chemistry is. You know, the type of chemistry, you also have to understand the type of chemistry that is designed for the human body, for the Homo sapien. And you would not understand that if you thought the Homo sapien was a caveman. If you think the Homo sapien is a caveman dweller that's eating on dinosaur legs and stuff, you have a misconception of the human being. The human being is like the primate. We're all tropical species. We originated in the tropics and we are tropical species. We might be living in Alaska and Siberia and some of these places that are hostile, but look at what you have to do and look at the diet you have to maintain and look at how old you look when you're young. It's horrible. It's a nightmare. So the quick road to death is proteins. If you want a high road to death, it's the proteins. We are carbon beings. We're, we're, nitrogen is, a, is definitely essential to all of life. It's why it dominates the air, but that's more the amino acid chain. And when, remember this, when someone says you need protein, you immediately know that person has no clue because the proper word would be amino acids. It wouldn't be proteins. The body can't even use protein. So to make a claim that the body needs proteins is coming from a position of unawareness. You know, the position of awareness is that why there's digestion of proteins and what that is to bring that back through the polypeps and the peps down to the amino acids. And the use of hydrochloric acid and pepsin and then chymo and then trypsin. How all that worked out. Understanding the pH factor, and you learn that in class. The wadnal pH is central to be 7.5 to 8. You have to have uh, a very alkaline duodenal pH if you want to activate trypsin, uh, amylase, and all these other digestive enzymes. If you're not, if you have low bicarbonate in the bile duct or the pancreatic duct uh, and, and uh, uh, a very low pH, you just lost digestion right there. So if that's a factor along with malabsorption, you're down, down even more. So there's a lot to it that one has to understand, but you don't have to even understand that if you just eat fruits, berries, and melons because it's already in the mix. The supreme one, the one that created all this, everything is created to work. 
You know, as soon as we think the Creator is ignorant, that's where man went a big awry. Because there is no ignorance in the Creator. It is all working synonymously and together. Yes, it takes itself through duality, as negative as it can get and as positive as it can get. It's all about the experience. So that's in you. Each and every one of us, from the mind down, have positive and negative. We can think negatively as we can think positive, but we are not our thoughts. Our mind is not us. It is what we use. So getting to the self, as we talk about here, is another good thing to do. But understanding uh, excessive thinness is also understanding a little bit more about digestion, pancreatic problems. Um, I remember I had a young uh, lady in here. She was only 15 years old. And her mother brought her in, and sat in front of me, kind of pompous a little bit, and said, I, my, my daughter's got candida. I want you to get that out of her. So I looked at the daughter and I said, well, mom, your daughter has a much more serious problem. And her mother looked at me like, what? And I said, look how thin she is. And boy, <clears throat> that daughter just took off crying. Boy, she was crying, you know. I said, uh, you eat all you want, don't you? And she said, I do. She said, they call me anorexic and bulimic. She says, but I eat all I want. And I said, I know you have a, you have a pancreatic and probably malabsorption. And her mother's going, what? And I said, that's how we train ourselves to understand. She probably been to many medical doctors. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And so uh, fixed her up, got the kidneys filtering, got her up, got her absorbing, got a little muscle on her, and she's now a model in New York City. So that's, that's the uh, kind of thing that you have to look at, is looking at people and sizing them up and knowing how to fix them. You know, it's a little enough when your parents sit back and say, oh, you're too thin, you can't eat that, there's no nutrition, you're starving yourself, and you know, you're fighting that sad thing. Because it's up to your parents to knowledge up a little bit. Instead of chastising, you know, funny, a lot of parents don't accept the, the intelligence of their offspring, and they should. We have some a lot higher souls coming in here, and I think they have a lot to teach us. And so I'm never above learning. I've always got my open to new things and what you guys are discovering and stuff like this. You know, when I've got my teeth fixed, we were, I was just looking at this, and I, after I had this, uh, some couple of implants put in here, I kept biting my gum, and I'm going, what am I biting my gum? But everything's all feel aligned, everything feels good. And so, but from a, a, a fall off of a pole, I broke my kneecap, and so my pelvic was, as I walked, kind of twisted. So uh, we have a great chiropractor. I hate to call her that because she's all kinds of things. Uh, Dr. Addy, I call her, from Canada. She put my pelvis into balance. She got my system balanced. Quit biting my, my gums. <laughs> so I have to tell my oral surgeon all about that so he understands that there's more to this then the alignment here, it also deals with the axis and, of course, down with the pelvis and stuff. It's cool things to learn when you're in the, the form of observation. So as I teach you guys to get out of your minds, observation brings a lot of cool information that can't be seen through a conditioned mind. See, the mind is always conditioned by others. The mind doesn't have any originality to it. Uh, you do, but the mind doesn't. And that's all within the body of God. So when you talk about reading ac books and you're getting academically learned, there's a point where you are now getting into theories. And that's when you might want to back away because basing your life on theories is, is looking at allopathy and looking at the level of death. You know, they're bringing out more and more, but they're, they're bringing numbers a little low. You know, here, here the news is saying that a hospital errors are 250,000 when consumer reports found out almost a half a million. So that's just one little spot. Look at the deaths from the use of pharmaceuticals. These are by the millions each year on this planet. You, If you find one herbal death worldwide, I would be amazed. It's possible because there are toxic herbs. Let's say we stretched it to three people around the world died from the use of botanicals. Three. Five. I'll stretch it to five. None in the United States. I'll stretch it to five. In some of these countries, they might be testing her against millions. And yet, parents and some people want to put their faith back to these jokers that, that are the number one killer of humans. You guys got to wake up to this serious stuff. 
I haven't talked to this young man. I'm going to give him a call and see what all he's done. I'm real proud of him. I'm real proud of you guys getting rid of these skin conditions because let me tell you, that's so much of a deeper problem than your parents or people in the world even know. This is the system of all the chew, all what they call the cancers, the breaking down of your cells, the breaking down of your muscles, the breaking down of your organs and glands. This is the system that makes you suffer, the system that makes you depressed and full of anxieties. This is the system. And there's only one big system in there like this, and this is the great lymphatic system. It is offered as a cushioning, eye fluid, synovial fluid in the knees. It cushions, it buffers, it is for acids. It is the system of the sewer system with the, the uh, septic tanks, the lymph nodes. It is the main immune system of the human body. It is the system of all systems. And to have a modality that touts themselves as the all-knowers that don't know anything about this system are very little scary. There is some nose. You know, the surgeons were meeting in this penile implant uh, or penile transplant that they had to consider the lymphatic system. Hello. You have to do it in all surgeries. And I've seen where they didn't. Remember the lady with the right kidney? They removed it. They didn't consider the lymphatic considerations of the leg. Her right leg puffed up this big elephant leg. And of course, without a kidney, there's nothing you can do. They killed her. Instead of fixing her and rebuilding her, and you hear this over and you see this over and over and over again. Can't have that. You can't have that. We have to become more of a civilized planet, don't you think? And you guys are really right here to help do that. So I really appreciate you coming aboard. I think that's enough about thinness. If you have any more questions, I'm going to get to Q&A on other videos. So if you see anything like that, you want me to cover more things, let me know. But this is tied right into everything. RA, uh, uh, which is rheumatoid arthritis, all of the arthritis, the, uh, the Lyme's, the uh, uh, fibromyalgia, the lupus. These are all the same things, guys. These are all systemic acidosis. It doesn't matter what factors in the body are augmented, the rheumatoid factors or what. It doesn't matter what these factors are. The problem's the same, and these problems are not bacterial or viral. These problems are chemistry, acidosis. And if you have a viral problem, you have more acidosis because virals are proteins. You know, and then you can watch as you learn, you can watch the interaction of viruses in acidic mediums and what happens to viruses in base mediums. So this is all important stuff when you're on the journey of wellness. For you parents, don't, don't come down on your kids. Learn what your kids are doing. Interact with them. Become one with them. They're your babies that are trying to get well and with very little help from you. So that's important on these youngsters that they get help and that they help themselves. You know, these people happen to help themselves. They've been through the, the steroids and, and uh, the, the sad stuff with all the, uh, the uh, skin meds that kill, like aspartame. I mean, the, the, these high beings don't want this anymore. They want truth, and truth is on our side and on this site. Learn it and help your, your young ones up. And same with all of us. We've got to understand that there's a process to this. And I give the analogy. When you wake up to extreme skin problems or fibromyalgia, lupus, limes, all the systemic acidosis that's ripping you, pain, redness, uh, ulcerations, all of this, you're simply waking up to acidosis. And it's like having your car in a major wreck. Your physical body is your car. And we use this analogy all the time. Is that when your car is in a major wreck, it doesn't look too good. So we take it into a, sh uh, a mechanic shop, a body shop. They clean it up, sand it down, fill it in, build, rebuild it, put new parts on it. And now it's new again. Wait till your children are through this. Help them through their darkest hours of detoxification and regeneration. Help them with, with positive affirmations and understanding their processes. And then you're going to have your children back because now they can communicate with someone now on their level. You know, uh, these younger people and these, these big powerful souls in these young bodies are going to go right on past where man is right now. They have to. 
that's essential and God's sending these big powerful souls here so don't look at your babies as babies look at them as powerful souls in small little bodies so uh, I think we'll do the um, sugar video next so I want to do a video on blood sugars and stuff and I'm going to do them on specific titles if you have a specific title send it in to Chris I'll be happy to do a video on it that way it'll help to give us some specific titles and you won't have to go through some of the Q&A's I like the Q&A's quite a bit because you get to see the journey others are on you get to understand that these people have been on through the medical community for years trusted in pharmaceutical use only to no avail but to worse to worsen their conditions to to cripple them or to find them in hell's corner why I think uh, Hilly appropriately named her book from hell because when I first met her she was definitely in hell and this is that so many of you are and this is not fair it is easy to find your remedy and so what if you have to go on a fruit diet for six months to get well who cares you're on some of the most powerful food remember there's a three doctor professor friend of mine in Canada that has that has surveyed the chemistry of food all his life three doctorates when you have three doctorates and that's your life work and you understand that fruits and berries have the highest nutrition of all foods on the planet I think you got to listen when you when you accept this uh, medical and American dietetics you're accepting someone with no awareness about the subject matter and we are taking that in full faith big mistake big mistake you don't go to a science teacher and ask them mathematics you just you know everybody has their specialty only the narcissistic elitists think they know it all I love you guys you've done so well and I'm so proud of you guys I can't even tell you and it was good to see a man who fell out of the sky <laughs> yeah made some good impressions my friend he came to the class remember a parachute didn't open that was a tough landing holy crap and you guys come right back from these things I'm real proud honored to be on at this particular uh, level at this particular time helping you guys and we all become way showers together love you all may the blessings be